All right, we are now inside of the trailer, and this is the new hardwood floor. It's uh, dirty, but yeah, brand new. You can see the beadboard that we put in over there. And this is my husband's side of the bed. Um, and then across here, we've got some storage area. Um, and this is all magnetic, so we'll be able to put uh, magnets on that we buy, places that we go. Curti he's going to clean that up so that it doesn't look so grungy anymore. Anyway, um, and then this is my side of the bed. So this is all of the storage room that I will have for clothing once we hit the road. So the dirty clothes will go down at the bottom. And then there's a canvas hanging clothes organizer that hangs up there. And you just roll up your clothes and stick your clothes inside of it. And that's it. That's all the space I get. You can see he makes all of our door handles all by hand. Talented as always. Um, this is the dinette area. That underneath is where our shoes will go. Um, this over here is where Jasmine's food bowl uh, will go. Food and water. Of course she's coming with us. And then this is the dinette area. He also redid all of this. Excuse the paint cans. Um, and he's in the middle of redoing the um, the table top. So there will be a table that goes in here. And then, um, look, more construction supplies. <laughs> um, up here, you can see this is a really fun cabinet handle that he made. I just love how it kind of curls off the edge right there. Um, just a regular old cabinet. But uh, yeah, he's done all sorts of blacksmithing throughout. Um, okay, so go past the dinette. There's the bathroom and let's go ahead and show you inside of there. Really a big mess. Um, so the composting toilet that he hasn't finished installing yet, but will be soon. Um, up here, there will be shelving that he's putting in so that we can have shelving for our um, toiletries and, and um, uh, towels and things like that. He had to tear this wall out so that he could put in wiring and stuff. So obviously that will be repaired, put back. Um, we cut out underneath here and put this trash can in so that you can take it out and throw trash away, put it back in, and then that way you have a trash can in the bathroom without it taking up space. Here's another handle that he made, cabinet underneath, and then you can see very dirty, so sorry, um, good fun remodeling. But anyway, so this is the new um, um, tile backsplash. It's not actually tile, or real tile, it's, um, it's like gel stuff, so it's light, and anyway, so he put in the countertop, um, stainless steel, and a new really dirty sink at the moment, <laughs> and faucet, but all of this is brand new, so that it doesn't look like we're traveling in a, in an RV, we didn't want to feel like we were living in a camper trailer. Um, you can see we put a new light in, and then, um, this is kind of cool, and that's, that's the, um, vent up there, but anyway, this is kind of cool. This is actually the shower rod, so you pull it out while you're taking a shower, and then that gives you more room inside of the shower, um, which he redid the walls, um, and new shower head, new, uh, faucet down there and this is kind of a cool shower head because it's got this thing on it and you can turn it off and uh scrub up and then turn it back on and rinse off and so that way you're not using very much water anyway um so he put all this all in all brand new it was really grungy before um but when you're done taking a shower you just push this back in whoa you gotta be smart enough to move it and then it gives you more room in the bathroom and you don't have the shower curtain like 
snuggling up against you trying to stand in here so kind of gives you a little bit more room cheat a bit um so this is the incredibly dirty kitchen everything is dirty i love living through a construction zone um anyway so we have more cabinetry again more handles that he blacksmith um not very much cabinet cabinet room uh have to be very judicious about what we take and what we don't um this is the vent hood again more of that um gel tile um we have stainless steel over here that we've put up and so then we can um hang things up here we also don't have grease hit the side this is the fridge by the way which again more stainless steel um, and we need to buff it out so that it doesn't have all that grungy stuff on it. It will look much better when it's done from us. Anyway, um, so look around here. You can see he, this is all new uh, countertop. Um, again, needs to be buffed out a little bit. Um, that's it. That's all the drawers we have in our entire kitchen. Three of them. Um, this is the sink, brand new sink, brand new faucet, um, window outside so you can see outside while you're doing dishes. But uh, yeah, the this sink is deeper. Um, I don't know how well you can tell, but it's a little bit deeper than the original sink that came with this RV um, and definitely a much nicer faucet than originally came with this RV. Um, and again, we have my brilliant plan where we put the trash can in the corner so you pull out the trash can to empty it put the trash can back and then that way you have a nice spot for the trash can that isn't taking up room because there is no room on the floor like this is very narrow every place in the rv has got something in it already there is not much place at all. This is going to be covered up with the dinette table. Um, this is going to be the couch. Uh, he's still in the middle of redoing the couch right now so that it's just storage area for um, tools again. But yeah, so there's the couch and then you're walking through here and then you want to walk and whoop, here's the bed. Um, there's garage sale signs. Anyway, but like that's it. That's the whole kit and caboodle. It's pretty small. Um, he also, being talented as he is, this door came with those two bottom uh, uh, slanty metal thingies, I don't know what you call that, to st strengthen up the door. And just kind of still a little bit wobbly and loose. So he went ahead and cut two more bars and put them up there. Um, and you absolutely cannot tell that that wasn't part of the original design. He made it all work really well. So, yeah, he's done an amazing job, which is not surprising to anybody who knows him. Um, we also cut out this wall right here um, next to the couch. This did go all the way up to the ceiling. Um, in fact, you can even see where it used to be at. We haven't finished patching and painting the ceiling yet. And then next to it, um, there was a dividing, one of those um, really old rickety dividers that you're supposed to be able to pull across and give yourself privacy, but it's just him and I, like, we don't need that much privacy. We're living in a 23-foot trailer, we're not going to have any privacy from each other. So, all it did really was um, block off view and make it feel really small in here, um, which it does not need any help in that area. So, um, he went ahead and cut the wall um, and uh, opened all of that up so that you can put your hand through here which you couldn't do before again with the um, with the brackets underneath he blacksmith those um, and another one down there so yeah oh and then he <laughs> so all of these were really ugly um, mirrored glass uh just really outdated and so he took the fronts off and he put in whiteboard fronts so that we could write notes to each other um and then he did the same thing over here 
except he put in the stainless steel instead. And so, um, again, he'll, he'll clean up those fronts, but uh, then that way we could put magnets up there. But yeah, they just look a lot better than what we when, than what they originally came with. And then um, you can actually see this. Um, we bought uh, three of these and it's just to put, that should be graphic, just to put stuff in because this is just kind of an awkward narrow spot. Um, so if you put stuff in there, then it's easy to pull out. Um, and so we bought three of those to go across there and put more storage. Yeah, um, that's it. That's the whole trailer. I'll do another video when it's um, done and it doesn't look so grungy. Um, yeah, this is the, this is where we get to store all of our shoes at. That is his and mine together. And you can see that's actually the wheel well, but anyway. Um, so I am, I get to take a couple of pairs of shoes and that's it. Uh, you don't, you don't get to have much stuff when you live in this kind of life. But yeah, we tore off wallpaper. There's wallpaper all along here. Uh, repainted everything. It new flooring, new walls, new everything. If you're seeing it right now with your little eyes, it's new. <laughs> so uh, it's been a lot of work, but I'm excited to hit the road.